peace. This is SDK, the homesteader here, you guys. All right, family, listen up. Today, SC is going to show you guys how to store up your long-term emergency food. So today, I'm going to be doing pinto beans and sugar. Now, my other video, I showed you guys these tractor supply um, storage containers. But one thing I did not... Um, make sure you guys knew um, and I should have been a little bit more specific on these containers so when you buy these containers to store up your long-term food stores make sure you have the food grade you see that the food grade buckets and not just regular plastic buckets so you want the food grade heavy-duty BPA free okay so that your food will be stored safely in plastic containers um, so we're going to start with my beans. I've been doing a lot of rotating with the beans and my rice. And I think tomorrow I should be able to get to my rice. But my, um, okay. So my long-term food storage has grown and it's been all over the place. So I want to start getting this stuff organized so it doesn't look like everything is just everywhere. So most of these containers here hold 50 um, pounds so the um, bag of pintos that I just poured in was only 10 and these other two are actually 20 each so I did freeze these and I think I, I believe I, I, I stress to you guys to freeze up rotate out your rice and your beans so that you could get rid of any larva that may be still in these bags so you don't want no bugs um, hatching their babies in the food. Alright. So, the way this is looking. Okay, so this is my first time doing this, you guys. And the way this is looking is you're only going to be, these are actually black beans some black beans is in there. It looks like you're only going to be able to get 30 pounds in here, you guys. So that means I'm going to have to simplify my sugar. So what I'm going to do is get this other bag of beans in here. And I do have some beans in my freezer along with some, some rice. So Tomorrow, I'm going to finish off this pinto bean bucket, which I think it is, it is, um, I believe it is 10 pounds, the one that's in my freezer now. So we're going to dump this one in here, and then we're going to make two buckets of sugar, being that I have 50 pounds of sugar bags here, which is two y'all yeah, I got so many beans it don't even make no sense but that's a good thing all right so this one is, is taken care of so before you um before you start filling up your buckets make sure you look at them really good make sure you use just a, a, a really uh, damp uh, paper towel or or um, dish towel that's just a just a little bit damp and just uh, we uh re-wipe them off so we're going to get this one sealed up with the gamma um seal let's see now a lot of people seal theirs up with mylar bags i don't have any mylar bags and right now i didn't want to order no more mylar bags because i've been waiting on packages for almost two months so we're going to cover up this one lightly until the other beans is ready to come out of the freezer and it's so funny because these beans are still cold so that nothing gets in them okay then we're going to work our way over here with this big old thing of sugar and we'll bring one of these back okay and let's see how it can shift around We'll put these over here since I'm going to be moving that sugar. And that sugar is 50 pounds. Now, 
Again, you could pack these with Mylar bags. Some people have said they left their beans in the bags um, as well. I'm not going to do it that way. But hopefully in the future, I will be trying it with the Mylar bags as well. And make sure, again, inspect, wipe out, dust out. Make sure everything is dry thoroughly. You don't see any specks of dirt anywhere, which is good. So again, when you buy these buckets, make sure you wash them thoroughly with some bleach and some soap. Wipe them down real good. Okay? Because you're going to be storing up your food. Make sure they um, dry thoroughly. You don't want no moisture in your food. Okay, so this one is a heavy duty. Um, and this is the bag, the bags that I've been getting from Sam's. That is that 50 pound bag. And being that these containers, I don't know why I thought these containers could really take like 50 pounds. It's only 30 pounds, you guys. So I'm going to have to, um, I'm, I know I'm going to have to get a lot more of these buckets anyway. So this is my 50 pound bag of sugar. And I know somebody, again, some people just uh, leave theirs in the brown paper bag and they just dump it, they just dump it right in here. But I'm going to empty these bags out. So y'all bear with me because this bad boy is heavy. Let's see how can I do this. over this this table and she's gonna flow in it just fine we're gonna do it this way and then i will pick it up oh, she has she heavier than me you guys i'm gonna get her here we go you guys so being that this is 50 pounds i'm probably only going to be able to get 30 in here whoa yeah we won't see yeah i'm probably just gonna need about 10 10 buckets just for rice rice and sugar Trust me, you guys, I don't plan on eating all this sugar, but I'll tell you one thing, when times get hard, like they're getting ready to, I can sell these by the jar. Or barter. Maybe 40 pounds, because I think 
powder material is different than these these type of solid materials so um i think i might have got like i would say about 40 pounds in here and then i'm gonna get my sons to twist it a little bit more oh my bad you guys Let me move that over because my hands is not that strong I'm not even going front. I've been crocheting all day today. <laughs> so they need a little break. All right. So now, I know I have another smaller bag, right? Let's see. This bag is actually... Uh, this bag is actually 25 pounds. So this, this, this may work. And this is a Walmart bag. I'll show you guys that bag. Let's, let's empty out this one right now because it's already open all right so yeah no no 50 pound bag of sugar is fit, fitting in these buckets you guys i don't know what i was thinking but that, that ain't gonna happen once you gonna get in there it's probably 40 35 to 40 so this is my Walmart bag right here, which is a 25 pound bag. And this should go, this should go in there. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I'm thinking that's all you're going to get in these, you guys, is about 40 pounds. Because that whole 50 ain't going in there. So this was 25, and I would say what I had left over from the 50 pound was about, was about 10. So that's it. Okay. So, um, some people use oxygen absorbers in their sugar, and then a lot of people don't. I'm not using no oxygen absorber because they say the oxygen absorbers causes the sugar in your salt to get hard. Some people use them anyway, and they just break them up. I don't want to do that. So, being that it's so fooled up to the top, Ain't too much air gonna be up in here. So, especially once you get it tight on there. So when you um, scoot these on, make sure you press them first. I think that's the one that don't need it because I'm gonna fill that up with more beans. Make sure you press them down real good and make sure you tighten them, okay? So, that is my sugar and I'm gonna actually um, label these as sugar and my pinto beans. And that's my other bucket over here with my pinto beans. All right, family? So, remember what I said, wash them out really, really good. Let them air dry, then come back, wipe them out with a damp cloth, inspect them again. Make sure there's no moisture in your tops and make sure there's no moisture in your buckets. Make sure you freeze your rice, rotate it out, your rice and your beans. You don't have to worry about your sugar and your salt as far as that. You want to do that with your rice, you want to freeze your rice, you want to freeze your beans, and you want to freeze your flour. So that's what I'm doing right now, rotating everything in the freezers so that I can get all this stuff stored up neatly and out of the way. All right, family? So this is S.E.K., I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to store up your food long term. Again, let me reiterate, you could use Mylar bags. I don't have anything. I will try that maybe in another video. But right now, 
I didn't feel like ordering them things because everything is taking too long. <laughs> so, um, so you have options. You have options. Whether you want to use the Mylar bags, whether you want to use the oxygen absorbers, you have options. I'm not saying that my way is the right way or the perfect way. All I know is that these full gray containers is going to store your food up for a long time. Okay? So, um, I will definitely bring you guys another video on some uh, the flour and also my rice. All right, family. So, this is SEK the Homesteader. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Please stay safe. Um, uh, what else I wanted to tell you guys? Um, I know there's a lot of traveling right now, but please be safe on this road. Please be safe on this road. It is very, very cold. Um, in zone 8A, we are freezing right now, and I believe we're going down to the 20s. I didn't even get out to check the greenhouse to see what's going on with my fruit trees. I might do that tomorrow. Hopefully, the temp temperature will go up to at least 40, 40 to maybe 45 degrees where I could get out there and, and just check up on things. But right now, I know everything else is thriving because the brassicas love this kind of weather. So, I expect for collard greens to be looking good, broccoli, all of them. All them brassicas and spinach and things of that nature. So, okay, family. So, this is S.E.K. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, thank you for joining in. And I will see you guys on the next video. So, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And be safe, family. Peace.